What's going on? Welcome back to Wrench. Today we are going to work on installing the classic retrofit electro cooler. As far as this install goes, you've got three main sections. You have all the different components of the air conditioning. You've got all of the piping and hosing, and then you have all the wiring. Today, we're gonna to work on getting all the individual components installed. There are quite a few. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just basically empty my car out, and I'm gonna remove my left rear wheel. And the reason I'm doing that is because on this install, it calls for the condenser fan to be installed in the front left, just basically under the left guard or the left fender. But in my case, I've got an early car and there's a battery box in the way. So my choices are A, cut the battery box out, not doing that. B, take my wheel off and see if I can fit that condenser fan uh, in the wheel arch somewhere, which is what's been recommended by Classic Retrofit. So I'm gonna get the car emptied out and uh, get cracking. I will say that during the course of this install that my goal is to have a beautiful frunk or, <laughs> or trunk. Um, it's not that way now, I will show you guys later. It's a bit of a hot mess if I'm being honest. Um, it's actually the first thing I did when I restored my car and that was 12 years ago. So there's all kinds of dirt and scrapes and patches of rust and it's just not as good as I'd like it to be. So. I'm gonna work on that while I'm doing this and try to really uh, clean up this entire trunk area. Anyway, let's pop the hood, let's get the wheel off, and then I'll show you all the components of where they roughly need to go, and then we'll get into the install. All right, so we're gonna jam on the uh, individual components here uh, and what needs to be fitted. So first and foremost, this is your blower. This goes right where the standard blower goes, so shouldn't be that much of an issue whatsoever. There's a new gasket for it, um, but it fits in pretty good. It's, it's all pretty snug up in there, but um, this should be no problem at all uh, once I clear out a little bit of the old blower and components. Second, and this is gonna be the kicker, is the fan and condenser. Um, now this is the thing I'm gonna to need to make some custom brackets for. Uh, this again is designed to be in the front of the uh, short hood cars, like the 74 to 89. But since my car has a, a metal battery box in the way, I can't just mount this there. And I thought I could get away with it because I have RSR flares, so my flares are a little wider on this car. No chance. So we're gonna look at the front components uh, and then I'm gonna take you guys to the back and kind of see where we where we fit. Um, this ugh, goes in the battery box. Um, this is your kind of main ECU and power. Um, I just refinished my battery box. If you haven't seen the video yet, go back and watch that video, which is refurbishing my battery box. I'm mean, battery box, my uh, smuggler's box rather. So this goes in the smuggler's box and uh, clamps with two clamps, fits in really easily. The biggest part to worry about in that is to have a really good ground. And I'll show you what I did to make a great ground uh, in my smuggler's box. And then these two, which are kind of cool and kind of tricky at the same time. So this is the power button. This thing needs to mount somewhere in your dashboard area. So I haven't even looked yet to see where this needs to go, but um, it looks like it's about, I don't know, a half an inch or so. So I've got to make sure I've got a spot to put this and basically just wire it through and then bolt it in from the back end. And then this thing, which is kind of fun, this is a vent panel from a Ford F-150, but it actually happens to fit perfectly in the hole of your existing clock. It probably doesn't work. So what Johnny from Classic Retrofit suggested is grab this and uh, then you can have a great center vent for your air conditioning. So uh, I'll have to custom fit this thing as well. Hopefully it turns out great. We'll soon find out. Uh, in the meantime, let's go to the trunk and show you how everything fits in there. So as I said, my 
trunk is nothing to write home about. It needs quite a bit of cleaning. Um, and it's a lot of cable and wiring organization. I mean, look at that spaghetti going on down there. That is some trouble, but I'm going to work on all of that while we're, uh, while we're in there, as they say. However, my smuggler's box looks like a, a little peach. That is a brand new looking smuggler's box there. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. Freshly painted, freshly rust repaired. Um, anyway, so I'll show you where this stuff goes. And uh, let me get this thing on the stand. Yeah, there's only a couple of components up here, so not a major deal. First and foremost, this is the ECU. This thing just drops here and has a couple of uh, clamps that clamp it onto the edge. And then apparently you can still fit your, um, your cover, your smuggler's box. Uh, cover over the top. I don't know if I'll run mine or not. I might, but uh, we'll see. Then we have the big ombre, which is the uh, blower. Now I've got to move this out of the way, which is my um, charcoal canister situation that's that needs to be redesigned. Um, but anyway, this will tuck in under here. This goes on the back side of this vent, and this just tucks right up in here. Before I can do any of that stuff, I've got to deal with my clock vent and I've got to deal with the uh, dashboard button because I need to be able to get to all that stuff. So I think today what we're going to do is work on the um, condenser and fan first and then work on the dashboard stuff and then work on, well, on this stuff. So that's, uh, that's my plan going forward. Let's do it. All right, first things first, I've got to figure out how to fit this um, condenser and fan in my rear wheel arch. Um, this is obviously the wheel arch. It's really hard to shoot this, by the way, so I apologize if it's weird or blurry. It's my first time. My original thought was that I was going to mount this kind of like that. The one thing about this condenser and fan is it can be mounted in any orientation you want. So I was going to do this, and I was going to move it up. But the problem is, is I don't know if you guys can see this in the video, but... I've got to mount my roll cage. These are the bolts to mount the back side of the plate to mount my roll cage. So I can't really do it there. Um, I would have sort of wanted to move it up like this. And I've got a few brackets I can attach to. So I've got a tab on this side. Um, I've got two tabs on this side. But what I realized is I can go sideways with it. So I can actually go in like this. And that, I think, is going to work great. So, yeah, there we go. So now I can fit this thing right under there and mount here to the inside of the wheel well. So I just I would have to pull my inside panel off a little bit and mark a couple of holes. And then I'll have to build some kind of standoff bracket for the bottom side, which won't be too bad. I'll make a little, I'll make a tab, I'll make it bend up and then bend this way and mount here. You know what I wish I had is one of those T uh, nutsert tools, because that would be perfect for this, but I don't. So I think I'll be able to get away with the bolts on the inside. I think that just goes right through um, on the inside of the trim panel. So that'll be easy. And I think I'm going to make it easy on myself. And I'll probably just zip tie this for now. So this thing sort of stays mounted and I'll work on making a bracket or this. It's going to be hard to show you guys how to make this bracket because it's so tight with the camera in here. Um, but I'll do my best. So as it turns out, um, I'm going to need a nutsert tool to install the condenser down there. And the reason why is because I can only get to one side of it. Um, I can't get to both sides, so I can't put a bolt through. And plus, it's just going to be a cleaner install anyway. So what I'm going to do is actually work on getting the vent installed and getting the button installed um, inside the cabin. So let's shoot for that next. And uh, let me move all the gear in there and then uh, we'll get cracking on it. All right. All right. So here we are inside the cabin and um, I've got a row of buttons here um, that I don't really use. These were for a set of aftermarket um, fog lamps, which were uh, on this car originally in 1969, which I don't have on here. This is the rear defroster, which isn't even... Uh, connected at the moment. So I feel like I can use one of these. Uh, I could probably pull this thing right off and see what I've got to work with here. 
space wise. All right, so that is a hole. I don't think it's going to be big enough, but I think I'm going to be able to build, drill this out a little bit, and this should be perfect for the button. All right, now I got to take this thing off, which is this Renline magnetic phone holder, which I love. But what you didn't see is me looking for this dumb non-metric Allen wrench. I don't know if you can see how beat up this thing is, but I looked for this thing for like an hour. So through the magic of video, that was just instant, but it took me forever to find the right size. I don't know what happened to the original one. It's not with my regular tools, but that was one of the more annoying things uh, that can happen in the history of cardom is uh, when you can't find a tool you need. I don't even know what size this thing is. Some SAE crazy size, but thanks. Ren line, All right, sticking that there. And then this thing basically, I, from what I remember, I think it just sort of expands over the top. Yeah, so that pops off, great little accessory. I totally love this thing for cell phones. I don't know what I'm gonna do once I have this vent situation. I should be able to get this thing to scooch. Let me just undo it on the backside and then uh, I'll find my way back in here. All right, now we're free, get off. And just a couple of plugs. Negative ground. And we go. All right. Clock is out. Let's see how this thing goes. I mean, it looks like it's pretty darn close. Yeah. Good look at that. Wow. That is just going to push right in and like snap in. Let's jump into the light. This is a um, three quarter inch step drill bit. I've got a hole right here that it looks like it's at about seven sixteenths or maybe a half. So I just need to get another quarter inch out of it and uh, get it to so it'll fit the light. So. Seems really well constructed. Everything's really dialed. There we go. And there's that. Oh, that's gonna be cool. All right, so I have some engineering I'm gonna have to do for the vent situation. Um, but I did just do a quick little test fit of the tubing, which can basically fit right inside this bad boy. As such, you can kind of press it in. And then this tubing can run right to the pump. I'm not gonna feed it through this way. So this is way too long, but um, I'm not really happy with how this vent is a little proud. At the moment I have it um, using the existing um, O-ring. It's like the factory O-ring, you know, from the factory clock here. But um, yeah, I don't know, we'll see. This was kind of an experiment to see if I could make this thing work and so I would like to, and I would like the, you know, bezels to look like the rest of them. And, you know, I've heard of other people basically disassembling the clock and using this bezel. So maybe gluing it or something like that. Um, I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet, but I'm going to, uh, it's just a little bit bigger. I'm going to figure it out and get that thing to mount and it's going to be beautiful. And if I can do it well, I will still be able to use my magnetic cell phone holder, but we will soon find out. Anyway, let's move to the front of the car. All right, so I've got to clear out some stuff in the trunk here to, uh, or the frunk, to give me a little bit of room to work. Um, not the least of which is this really dodgy install of a gas charcoal canister. Uh, I wish I could blame somebody else for it, but it is definitely me. I'm gonna definitely give this thing a clean and a, uh, a scrub down the road. That is definitely going to happen. This is old switch that I don't need. A bunch of old wiring that I don't need. 
There's a lot of stuff that previous owners have done to this car that I'm going to undo while I'm in this process. Um, a lot of weird wiring and stuff. So I'm gonna dig into a little bit of it right now. Uh, cut some of this blue wiring out. That switch that I cut out of, uh, or that I used instead of the, um, the light switch, or I'm sorry, the power switch is, was like an old set of fog lights. And these things are still wired up. So I'm gonna get rid of all that wiring. It's all extra here. All this blue wiring that doesn't need to be here. And old tape and old everything that I'm going to get rid of all the way down. One of the bummers about my car is that the power plug to the blower um, got brittle and cracked. So now I have just the four plugs individually. So I have to figure out where each one goes. I see a white with a green, uh, but I don't have any of the other stuff yet. Yeah, I'm gonna clean all this stuff. And I'm, if I can, I'm gonna probably do a nice fresh coat of that, the same um, matte black that I used um, for the inside of the smuggler's box. So it's all basically new looking. I'm gonna play around with the blower here. Uh, I'm still trying to get used to doing this stuff and trying to get it on video so you guys can see it. I'm a, I'm a rookie at this, so my apologies, everybody. So, there we go. So basically, it looks like it just sort of tucks up in here and then you plug this in there which i'm not going to do because i don't have the right ones and then i've got these that will control the flappers on each side <clears throat> i have to set all that up obviously so um let me get a look at the directions and see where i am now so i took the liberty of printing out this tome of instructions it's 42 pages and uh basically got everything you need A to Z uh, for the install. So it's getting a bit dark. I'm going to shift gears a little bit. I'm just going to clean the trunk area up. So I'm going to vacuum it first really quick and then clean it with some degreaser. And then where I can, I'm going to spray it using the same chassis paint that I used pretty much everywhere else in the car, including the smuggler's box. Let's get into that. So I've pulled the uh, grill vent here and I just wanted to do a quick little test fit of the blower and make sure that this thing is good. Um, by the way, apologies for the change in video and audio quality, but I was finding that this is a little easier to work with. Um, the phone's easier than the, the fancy camera for this close-up stuff. So this is an M5, and I think I don't quite have long enough bolts. Yeah, maybe I do. So this should use the original screws. I just don't know where they are. It's been many years since this blower's been on my car. So, yeah, I don't have quite long enough M5s, but that's where it's gonna live when it's, when it's up. That's exciting. And then this will blow into here. I just don't know how they're oriented, so I don't wanna blow this thing right out because that can definitely happen.
All right, with this paint, I'm just trying to kind of skim this area and make it look uh, a little shinier and newer. And I'm using the same chassis paint that I used everywhere else on the car. Now I realize this is not Concours quality, but it's the trunk, but it looks really good. So it's going on nice and satin and I can redo the front side um, on this side of the gas tank when I redo the wiring. I think I'm gonna call it a day. All right guys, so that's the end of day one. Uh, a little frustrating, missing tools and not having rib nuts and misplacing the button for a half hour but got it in, got general placement of the condenser and fan. I'll get the RivNut tool tomorrow. Um, got the entire, I shouldn't say the entire, but the, the back half of the trunk nicely cleaned up and painted. And I'm gonna wait for it to dry and then attack it tomorrow morning. Uh, once I get the RivNut tool, I'm going to focus on that rear condenser, get it going. And then what I need now, which I don't have, I need to research it tonight and tomorrow is my plug for my heater has been cracked, it's gone. So I don't have the original orientation of how the plugs are supposed to go. So I need to make sure I have those right or I could potentially fry uh, the, the blower, which I obviously don't wanna do. So I'm gonna be posting online if you have an idea of kind of how the four wires are supposed to go on the uh, heater plug, feel free to hit me in the comments. Although by the time you hit me, it could be too late. So we'll see. Anyway, remember to hit that subscribe button and uh, we'll see you next time.